Hey everybody, Jeff from the Village Wreath Company. Happy, happy Friday Eve. Um, if you're lucky enough to have the whole weekend off, good for you. Um, the weekend's almost here, right? Hope you're having a great week. Hope you had a great day. Hope you had a great Thursday. Um, so yeah, tonight we're talking spring again. We're talking Easter. We're talking pastels, light colors. And we're talking grapevines, big surprise. <laughs> yeah, so easy, a little time consuming, but easy. Put it that way, all right? Get you guys pulled up here so we can see what's going on because I can't see what's going on. <laughs> there we go, there's Justin. How you doing, Justin? Justin's my neighbor, but we don't know that, really. <laughs> We've never met, but hello, Justin. Nice to meet you virtually. Um, hello, Kay. Welcome back. Gershelda, hello, hello. So yeah, um, like I said, it's going to be easy, but time consuming. All right. Uh, so I'm going to make a wreath out of these. I, they're kind of like little Easter egg things. <laughs> things. Easter egg. I don't know, like picks in a way, just with lots of little itty bitty Easter eggs on them, right? Yes, so guess what? We have like, I don't know, four, five, six, seven of these. And we're gonna put them around our wreath. But we can't do it just like that. That would be like really tacky and gross, right? So we're gonna have to go through and cut these apart in little groups. So we're not gonna clip them apart individually and stick them in individually. We're gonna do them by little groups, okay? So. You're welcome. I already went ahead and did that. So you don't need to watch me do that. Again, you're welcome. <laughs> so let me zoom you guys in. And we're gonna do a lot of glue. And we're gonna do a lot of sticking. And then we'll see with what we have. And go from there, right? Yes, Justin, we, it would be kind of funny. But I don't think so. I've never seen you in my neighborhood when I'm walking my dog. <laughs> and we refilled the glue pot, so we're good to go with that tonight. No running low on glue. All I'm going to do when I grab some of these, I am going to give them just a little push or pull, if you will, just so they're not bunched all together, right? Because we're going to need a little... Um, Not motion, but depth, maybe, is the word I'm looking for here. Maybe. And again, I'm just going to take and fluff them a little bit, pull them apart just a tad, dip them in some glue, and stick it about halfway down the length of the other one, if that makes sense. So basically, I have it stuck in like this. I'm coming through with the next one and sticking it right about here, like that. Hopefully that visual helped a bit. <laughs> yeah, finagle. Yes, that's how you spell finagle. <laughs> Thank you, Bria. <laughs> But yes, you're right. They need to be finagled. I always say, be in control of your project. Don't let your project be in control of you, right? So, every now and then you just have to show it who's boss. Not often, but every now and then. Finagle. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we're just going to do this, obviously, all the way around. And what's cool is some of these, like, they don't have the little eggs at the tips, so we can just cut them off, because they look kind of weird with just a little green tip sticking up. I'll try to show you an example in a second here, close up. Um, there, like 
See how this one is missing something at the top? It doesn't even look like there was ever anything there, to tell you the God's honest truth. <laughs> but I'm going to snip those off just to even them out a little bit. That's all. Ooh, that was very Devil Wear Prada. That's all. That's all. <laughs> all right. So again, we're just going to go all the way around, kind of like on the inside, outside, inside, outside. do kind of have hopefully some leftovers um, so we can fill in if needed nothing's gonna say that we're gonna have to but if needed but I do have a plan for some of the empty spots here and I'll share that with you shortly Some of these are really long and crazy. And I do need finagling. See how some of them are just missing stuff, so boom, take care of that instantly. Ta -da! And when we go through, if some of them are just sticking out too far, we can trim them down to size too. But oh, we don't want it to look too perfect, perfect, matchy, matchy, because otherwise people will think it was bought at the store. And uh, no, it wasn't. We need to get rid of those conception, misconceptions. Oops, got a little ahead of myself there. There we go. So yeah, I haven't watched the news much today, so I don't know what the state is of these winter storms. So I'll do that when I'm done here, try to catch up on what happened during the day and cook some dinner. Hopefully Texas is starting to see some lights on again and some heat. Poor people. See, so this is a little time consuming, but not too bad, right? them to look all perfect so hello Karen there yes I know it's riveting just watching me stick these in one by one isn't it Trying to go kind of quick for you guys so you don't get too bored. But at the same time, I'm 
trying to do it right. Oops. Not that one here. Come through and just finish up on the outside here now. Gosh, Rochelle, I know how that is. I used to live up north and used to have to keep the faucets dripping and pray the sprinklers wouldn't burst. Yeah. Always nerve wracking. The fact that you didn't have electricity is even worse. almost worked out perfectly huh okay so like I said I wanted to save a couple which worked out very well just to fill in some gaps that we may have every now and then so yeah let me show you where we are where where we are at all right so here's where we are at now some of these little out of control things just have to go just saying. Hello, Patty. How are you? So yeah, a couple of these are just a little too wild. And that's okay, because we can use those little pieces later on. No big deal. But yeah, some of these, whew. Too much. Just a few of them. All right, so I said I had a plan, right? I do. Because as you can see, every now and then, maybe like here, let me zoom you back in again. Like kind of like right here, there's a little bit of a bare spot, maybe a little bit here. So we can fix that. Yep, with some eggs. <laughs> These are just styrofoam eggs, so therefore this wreath probably shouldn't go outside. It would be in one's best interest not to put it outside. But when we list it, we will make that noted for sure. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. Thank you. We'll just come into these spots here. Put some Easter eggs. The thing is though with these is not to get too carried away. So I might get out five tops. That's it. Maybe not before I maybe won't even use them all. Don't know. See, there's another spot here. There we go. We just have to create a spot. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. All right. So this one would look good right there.
what I'm trying to do. I don't want them evenly spaced. Part of me does, but part of me doesn't. So I think we'll do that because we have a spot right here. Maybe yellow would look better. Yeah, yellow would look better there. Oops. Like I said, I had some of these little ones left. So now I can just kind of fill in around the egg. bit. Can I still? Do I have enough time? Not really. It's okay. We'll just trim around it a little bit and again just stick them back in. Pretty nifty, huh? If anybody says nifty anymore, but the word came to mind. Okay, so here is where we are at now. All right, pretty cool. Looks like a little bit of a rat's nest here, but we can get that fixed. So we have some glue strings that are making it go all out of whack there. All right. So I think I'm going to do now, get these out of the way. Um, I might just put in just a few Teeny tiny flowers, just a few. Like you almost have to look for them to know that they're there, that kind of few. Um, so I tried to keep some little light colors here. Like I've just got a little purple, pink, white, blue, yellow. <laughs> Look at that! Happens to be all the same colors we have here! Funny how that worked out. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to put in just a couple of each. Just where we might have a little gap. Again, you'll kind of have to, like I said, look for them. But they're there. They are there. See? Hardly any. Maybe about four of these, maybe five. We shall see what they look like.
If you guys didn't see me sticking these in here, you might not even know they were there, right? That's the point. But it just helps fill in a little bit too. It's kind of cute. That one's a little long. Do the same with the yellow ones. Just grab a small handful. Just come through and stick a few in here and there. Let's do a little, some little white ones here. And again, we're, we're not doing um, big bushels of them. Just the, like the, just like the little individual pieces. white we might actually be able to get away with putting a little bit more in to help fill some of our voids. Just because it is a little bit harder to see, so that would be perfect filler because you don't see it, right? Invisible filler. How do you like that for an invention? I guess it's more like camouflage, right? I can't, I don't, I can't, there. I like that so much, I went through the whole thing. Which is good, because now I don't have to put it back. That is a good thing. some of those tips as I see them otherwise I'm bound to forget about them yeah I'll tuck those in later later on and then we'll just do a few blue ones hello Carolina Hope all is well in Canada, Toronto. Gosh, I haven't been to Toronto in years, years. Like, more than 20. I'm overdue.
My glue strings are driving me crazy. Where did I get this? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Our favorite store. These blue ones stand out a little bit more than the rest of them. I'm going to have to take a step back later to see if I like that or not. Just because you do see those. I'm not sure if I want to. Oh well, we'll think about it. <laughs> we'll think about it. So here we are. I'm going to do a little more fluffing and finagling. But you'll be able to get the gist of what we were able to do. So again, I'll come back through, trim some of these little wild things up here. Just to make it a little bit more uniform, but not too much. Uh, only because we don't want it to look store-bought, right? So there we go. Well, this is going to be fun. I love to take the glue strings off. It's very de-stressing, relaxing, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your night to watch. I do greatly appreciate it, as I do appreciate each and every single one of you. And thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you for all the follows. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Or if you have um, email, feel free to email us at info at villagereath.com villagereath.com is also our website and you can get to our Etsy store from there too pretty nifty huh so thank you everybody again for watching I hope everybody is doing well and keeping warm and I hope to see you guys again really really soon and until we do see each other again all I want to say is please be safe all right take care see you bye